Hey guys, I just want to show you a quick uh, trick that I learned not long ago. And this is about um, adding correctives to um, bla uh, joints based uh, rigs. Here I have head with um, with two joints, and these two joints. I mean, one of is static, and the other one is uh, opening the jaw, and it is rotating and translating. So um, here I have the the corrective that I sculpted. And now I want to integrate this corrective into this brick. So <clears throat> what I can do is just adding a blend shape, but uh, I'm gonna get a double transformation. So what I have to do, I have to uh, basically subtract this um, this uh, ver the vertex position of this mesh from this one. So I have to extract them. So what I can do, I can try to uh, create a blend shape into a neutral head of the pose of the sculpt and then set the pose to minus one and the sculpt to one. And this will give me a delta, but since the jaw, jaw joint is rotating, um, this will not give me the expected result. So now if I set the corrective, here and I try to overlock the two models, the two meshes, you can see that is not <clears throat> the two meshes are not the same. So the reason why is because the jaw joint is rotating and when when I try to extract it with the delta in this way, it's it's not taking an account of the transformation matrix of the joint. So we have to uh, use a different method and this is when the trick is coming in play and So basically here we're using um, the new f uh, I mean relatively new functionality of the blend shape editor Which is the ability to edit the target this you can use that from any version of Maya 2016 after extension 2 so here if I create a blend shape and then I add the target here I mean edit mode so it means that every time if I move the, verti the vertices here I am I'm basically editing the blend shape which is great so <clears throat> now I've been using um, a snippet of code that it's basically very easy but it's using the Maya API so um, it, it is a bit confusing, but you can find it online and I actually I wrote a medium art article uh, and I and I um, and I posted this to snippet of code so you can just grab it from there um, So basically this part this first part this first part of the code is gonna copy the vertex position from one mesh and then with the second part I can paste it and since I'm using a blend shape target in edit mode, it will basically edit the blend shape target. So now if I want to integrate this corrective, I just have to select this part of code, copy the mesh, and then <clears throat> go into the pose and run the second part of code, which is the paste one. And now I have the, the corrective um, has been basically replaced by the vertex position of the, um, of the selected mesh. So now if, if I go back, I have the delta here and then I can just set a key here and then set the corrective to one here and I have the corrective extracted. So I think this is a pretty cool trick. Maybe there are better ways and to do this and please feel free to leave a comment and just let me know. Uh, this, I use this uh, method always, I have them, uh, I have the snippet of code here um, and so I use them all the time and every time I have a deformer uh, and I want to add a blend shape with the corrective on the top 
and I have an external mesh, I can just copy and paste it on the top of the deformer, which is which is great. So this works even with um, with a smooth modifier. So if you guys have want to recreate um, level subdivisions uh, by copy and pasting the vertex position, you can do that. So I don't know why you want to do that and not use a displacement map, but you can. So anyway, uh, I hope you find this useful and I'll see you next time. Bye.